What would you see? Work in a job that bores you stiff with no future? the refusal of a job you really want. Or will you, like Sam Clark here, avoid those experiences and prepare yourself for the type of work in which you can go places? At 17, Sam started planning his future and visited the counselor at his nearest industrial education center. Then he took a series of tests to determine his various abilities. test results confirmed his interest in technical drafting, and before long, he was enrolled at IEC. His class hours were arranged so he could fit them in with his regular work schedule. Naturally, he received full credit for the course he took at the Industrial Education Center. Sam, like thousands of other Carolinians, got the training he needed for a more productive and profitable career in one of 20 industrial education centers from Wilmington to Asheville. young men are learning what makes a car tick and how to keep it running smoothly as they apply their skills in auto mechanics class. Meanwhile, this auto body class learns how to make dented auto bodies look like new again. Another group of folks who put IEC courses to good use are the men and women who are employed but who wish to upgrade their jobs. Mrs. Jackson worked as checker in a supermarket. She attended classes at IEC in data processing. Since most industrial education centers are open from 7.30 a.m. until 10 p.m., courses may be fitted into the schedules of most working people. Mrs. Jackson's instructor was an efficient young man, employed by day in data processing, and thoroughly familiar with latest procedures and modern equipment. On completion of her course, Mrs. Jackson found an interesting job that needed her newly learned skill, and she was able to begin a pleasant and well-paying career, thanks to IEC. 
Other young people in North Carolina trained for varied careers at IEC, such as this group, who will become technical secretaries when they complete their course. The work is challenging and rewarding. The same industrial education center also trains students who wish to upgrade their positions for employment as dental assistants, where associations are pleasant and the duties interesting. In another part of the state, the shortage of practical nurses is being lessened by young women in this nursing course. There is no tuition in any industrial education class. The only cost to the student is for books and supplies. So far, we've seen how IEC helps students who wish to take training in skilled trades and employed workers who need more training to upgrade their jobs. Now, let's look at the case of Dan Miller. Those want ads he's looking through require men with training which Dan doesn't have. Fortunately, one of Dan's ex-army buddies told him about IEC. Then he showed him a brochure and Dan became enthused with the possibilities of studying agricultural equipment technology. So he made plans to enroll at the nearest industrial education center where this course is taught. He found he could combine his interest in machinery and agriculture in one job. He decided to specialize in the servicing and maintenance of farm machinery. Class time went swiftly for Dan. Almost before he knew it, the months had passed and he had finished his course. Again, he answered a want ad. This time, Dan, the IEC graduate, was well-trained and confident of his abilities. Yes, he got the job. While Dan was getting the training he needed, other young North Carolinians were also preparing themselves at IEC for a wide range of different careers like these young men in a class in industrial chemistry. And this group who took courses in electronics technology to gain the technical training so vital to modern industry. They received IEC State Board of Education diplomas to show they had successfully completed their courses. Now they're all set for good jobs. The classes we've seen represent just a few of the courses available in industrial education centers across the state. Let's consider the opportunities that await you in North Carolina, if you train for them now. The career you seek may be offered by one of these companies. They're well known across the country and around the world, and each of them has an installation right here in your own state. The names of 60 of America's top 500 companies are represented in North Carolina's business and industry. These and scores of smaller ones need men and women with skills and technical training, people with special training for specialized and well-paying jobs. That need is expected to grow tremendously in the next few years. In its manpower survey recently, the Bureau of Employment Security Research found that an estimated 6,803 additional technicians and 21,500 additional skilled workers will be needed in North Carolina by 1966. To meet your need for special training, as well as manpower requirements in the state, industrial education centers offer dozens of classes in skilled trades, technical training, and courses for those who wish to upgrade their jobs. The opportunities are here, the jobs are here in North Carolina, and your pursuit of them through education has the wholehearted support of your governor, the Honorable Terry Sanford, and the State Board of Education. Dr. Dallas Herring, chairman of the State Board of Education, discusses the important role of IEC training in meeting the challenge of the future. You and I live in an age of change and challenges. The scope of our existence has changed in a few short years from the planet Earth to outer space. And in education, the days when reading, writing, and arithmetic were the only essentials are gone. 
Our education must change to meet the challenge of progress we find all around us. We cannot specifically prepare for the miracles which are sure to come in 1980 or in 2010. But we can update our education and stay abreast of new technology and make learning a continuing process. Whatever miracles come, hands with special skills and minds trained in modern science will be vital to you, to your state, and to the nation. That is why we constantly stress education for North Carolinians of all ages. And that is why we are wholeheartedly behind North Carolina's Industrial Education Centers, a program of your State Board of Education. I ask each of you who need specialized training after graduation from high school or for upgrading your present job to take advantage of your industrial education center's tuition-free courses. You are the key to this special educational program. IEC was created to help you to meet the challenge of change. Thank you, Dr. Herring. With your forward-thinking leadership of men and women eager to train for the opportunities ahead, and with the aid of IEC, North Carolina will train its quota of skilled workers and technicians and meet the challenge of change. March of Progress today. Contact your nearest industrial education center for information about courses which are available in your area or write to IEC, State Department of Public Instruction, Raleigh, North Carolina. That's IEC, Raleigh, North Carolina.